Hey, this is Orin with MathDrive.com, testing out some more game modes that was shared with me on the spreadsheet. Today we're playing a game mode that is extremely fun, called a 1v1 Blacktop. I played it with my students in my class, and uh, you know they enjoyed it. Yeah, it's not really 1v1, but it is a an extremely fun game mode. You start off picking whatever uh, gadget you want and just going in. Uh, after every uh, knockout you get, you get a uh, $1 cash. When you get $5 cash, you can actually uh, spend it on a speed up. So you can speed up and uh, go fast, faster. And that's when the game really picks up. There is no way to end the game, or it's not its not an ending game, but it is it's extremely fun when you are literally running, like, at the speed of sound, and, like, you know, shooting portals, like, portal guns or whatever, and, like, going faster than your own ammunition, and some other people, like, going really fast, and then they're running into your portal gun. Like, the portal gun, honestly, has been an MVP since one way out for me. It uh, one hit knockouts your opponents, even uh, players in this uh, game mode here. It's extremely fun. Like watch, look, like just one hit and it's and it's wraps. Yeah, it's extremely slow. Yeah, it reloads very slowly. But it but it's uh you know it's it's a fun uh, gadget to use. I I highly enjoyed this game mode. And I was playing without a uh, mouse or anything like that. I just played with the regular laptop. So I didn't have to do a lot of aiming. Just, you know, one pop. If they run into that portal, they're sent to another dimension. That's a, It's a wrap. So I'm just going to just watch this in awe for what it is. Like, this is like, okay, when I play game mode, some, some, sometimes they're a little complex. You know they're they're challenging or they're complex and they and they have a lot of ambition and stuff. But sometimes the more simple game modes like this, where you know it doesn't take a lot of uh, thought to code it or figure out how to put things together. You know everything is laid out for you. Gadgets are laid out for you. You only got to buy the speed up. You know that was really simple and, and it was fun. This game mode is actually pretty fun as well. I kept dying on it. It's called, I don't know. I don't know what the, the game is called, but it's about getting as much corn as possible. So I was thinking I was gonna be just collecting corn, but this is like a little one way out game in itself, except the uh, checkpoints are done a little bit better. The enemy placements are pretty good. And the weapons that they use are obviously a variety from, you know, which is still a uh, step up from one way out as well. I kept dying on it, but I kind of cut out most of my deaths to speed up the video because I believe it was like a 20, no, it was a 39 minute video that I recorded uh, trying to beat this game. So I speeded it, I sped it up. And cut out a lot of my deaths. I did, you know, die very often on this game mode, and I was kind of sleepy, so I did doze off a little bit. But you know, don't worry about all that. So this game mode is ambitious. I like the camera angles as well, like how the camera handles things. The person who made this game mode is uh, really good at uh, knowing the 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 distance with the camera you know like if if the camera had it where you you know you were getting shot at but you couldn't see your enemies and stuff but the camera's like zoomed in on you then that would be an issue you know they 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 worked hard to uh, strategically place those camera angles in a way where the enemy is not going to be uh, recognizing where you are yet and trying to fire at you so I really did appreciate that. This is where there were some uh, golden key cards. I didn't know what they were for, so I got a lot of them. 
but if you only got one that would not have been good for you uh, because it helps you get to another level on the uh, on the stage so I like the the different uh, textures as well like the different terrains as you're playing through you play through like multiple worlds like a little spaceship area a snowy area a lab and a farm area and I got to the corn and I got the corn and I, I thought the game was gonna be over so I was like shoot but then I found this area for the golden key cards and saw that I just had a ways to go so I'm in the lab area now this area was pretty this was where I died the most even though you don't see it I died a lot so what you're seeing is my successful run through the through it avoiding the muffins like it looks like I'm in the matrix right now like I'm dodging I, I did get a little tapped on the back right now. all right I guess I showed that death but did it cut through I didn't even cut it I guess I I, I really wanted to show a, a couple of deaths there but man like look look at this so I, I have to be pretty like strategic with the with the portal gun there I have to like shoot it in a way where you know because portal guns can last basically forever so if you shoot it it can travel far enough to hit enemies at a you know wherever they are placed as long as it's in front of there so if it's way if an enemy's way in front of there they're still going to get hit eventually i mean the portal does move kind of slow but yeah that's the that's the strategy that i use to get through this part but um all of these game modes are accessible in the Google Sheet. So even if you don't have a Google, uh, a game mode that you want to post yet, you can still play the game mode, which is, uh, you know, just click on the Google Sheet, get the link. The links uh, expire every seven days now. So it gives you a lot of time to get through there. And I'm pretty sure that if you ask the uh, poster, they'll be willing to renew that uh, link for you. Because everybody likes when their games are played and they're enjoyable. And this is one of those games which is also pretty enjoyable. There were no glitches or anything like that. No bugs. Nothing kind of stopping me. You know, the instructions were pretty... I wouldn't say that they were clear, but the direction you go is very linear. Like, so that that's helpful. Like, if you're going to have little instruction, make your game mode as linear as possible which means like you know you can't go you know you can't go too many different places but in a certain direction then that helps to guide the player to uh experience the game that you made if you're going to have a more free open world style like the old original legend of zelda or something like that there has to be some level of uh description of what you need to be doing and uh, when you think about all the game modes that Josh has made so far, the creator of Gimkit, when you start the game, typically something pops up, like an informational that lets you know what you're doing in that game and uh, how to, not really how to play it, but what to do to be successful on it. So, yeah. This area was uh, interesting because I didn't know that the dirt patches all had potatoes in it. And so I was collecting potatoes. Not, not knowing what they were for, but I was collecting potatoes. And uh, I eventually found an area for the boss. So this was the boss right here. When they had handled that biz, it looked like, yeah. I said, yeah. All right, there we go. You know, that portal gun got that, that good distance. So I got uh, more potatoes. Alright, so then there was a little area set called The End. So I, yeah, I got more corn, but there's an area called The End. I thought The End was over with. Like, I thought the game mode was a, you know, was done. It was a wrap. But there was a little bit more left. So, I, yeah, there's a portal to The End. The teleporter. Get in there. Alright. And there we go. So I didn't know that this was like more of the stage, which is uh, 
one of the most challenging parts of the stage. I mean, of the game mode. Like, look at this. Now you gotta kind of shoot at angles. And I did not have my mouse at the time, so I just had to kind of set it up to be like that. Because with a laptop, it's hard to move the cursor and move the player at the same time. I don't know. The laptop just doesn't register at all, or it's too many button commands or something like that. But having a mouse is a lot uh, smoother uh, process and transition and whatnot. This was also a place where I died uh, many a time, but I I had to uh, go ahead and just show you my most successful run. Okay, well, I guess that was the most successful. Look, I, I I showed you the run. Okay, look, like okay, get in there. All right, sorry. Go through. Okay, so I'm I'm like kind of shooting in advance, shooting beyond the camera angles now to to kind of get a little heads up on these these dudes like they are they are they're tough and they're placed in a uh, st strategic way to where now you really can't see them like so the creator of this game mode waited till the last minute like i think his name is game master four he waited until this last part of the stage to start making enemies shooting at you where you don't know where they're coming from you have to kind of read read the direction they're shooting from like see the where the ammo is flying from in order to um you know shoot at a couple of them uh this is the ending i i don't understand what this represented i feel like it was like you're all a part of a video game but anyway i won it and it felt good to win it because anyway it was a, uh i would love to game see more where I game mode a lot um, so the I'm feeling of uh, success, you know, there. people are posting on to the Google Sheets, and I'm I'm seeing more to to play, and uh, you know I'm gonna keep trying them out. But um, I, I look forward to seeing more. And, like I'm gonna try to give you as many tutorial videos as I can, and answer as many questions as I can, so that you can make a successful game mode that your friends will enjoy, but also you know that I can kind of showcase and uh, let you know kind of the feedback or the thought process behind you know why it's fun. Anyway, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for all that you're doing. And enjoy the rest of your day, guys.